Three things Amazon sellers should never do. Number one. Say it again. Three things one Amazon more time. sellers. With a little bit more emphasis. Three things Amazon shellers, shellers, you're a sheller. Sheller is my favorite. <laughs> Three things Amazon sellers should never do. School. Is buy a Lamborghini, right? No, license. Right? No, lower. Buy, lower. Buy. What, what, are we, what are they learning today? Where are they here? What are they watching know. this for? What are they learning? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm just gonna start holding random things for the start of videos. You work right here, wait. All right, go, go that way because I don't want them seeing the board. I don't want them seeing the board, can't see that. You're not allowed to see that stuff. I upgraded. Wow, look at that. Look at that. No you have a picture case. of yourself. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> no, I can't show them the board. Can you show them this one? All right, you guys want to see something? Or this one? Look at that. Look at that masterpiece. Look at that masterpiece. Useless. Fake plaques for days. Tanner got this made by himself, so he felt good. He doesn't actually have 100k Plastic. sub. Subs. What is this? You making bombs, buddy? The only yeah. bombs we're dropping is on this webinar, am I right? Am I right? Huh? 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 Is that a threat? Yeah. Okay. Well, do we do we actually want to teach them anything if they attend? Like, do we want to do we want to show them how we're making disgusting money or not? No. Um, oh, uh, but I mean, technically, we should share it with them, right? Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why do I have two markers? Three things that Amazon sellers need to avoid at all costs. So I'm just gonna jump right into this. The very first one is going to be jumping onto a product because it has good sales and you think that people want this product, it's a trending product, it's exciting, you like it. So I just mentioned a couple of different things. Let's touch on those. So it's a trending product. Well, our goal with Amazon FBA is to build a sustainable business, not to be with the ups and downs of trends. Perfect example was fidget spinners. Now, yes, you can capitalize on this if you're in early, but knowing it's a trend, you have to exit at a certain point so you don't get caught with inventory. Now, trends have an advantage and a disadvantage. There's high sales very fast, but competition comes in very fast as well. So I do not focus on products that are trends usually ever. I did jump in on fidget spinners and found some success with that, but did get caught with some inventory that I was not able to sell off. Overall, I made a good amount of money with it, but did not get out early enough. So that's trending products. Now, jumping on a product that has good sales just because it has good sales. This is the number one thing I see beginning Amazon sellers doing, and it's very difficult to watch because I did the exact same thing. An example of this would be camping hammocks. They have crazy sales. The average on the first page is like 1,500 sales per month through all the listings, but they all have 200, 500 reviews you're not gonna be able to rank your product up there past those listings. You have to beat out those listings and match their sales. How are you gonna match 2,000 sales a month and 500 reviews with your minimum order of 300 that you just got units? You'd have to do an insane amount of sales to be able to match that, whether it's giveaways or ads, and that is one of the biggest mistakes I see so many beginners doing. It looks like it has good sales, a uh, couple example products would be like resistance bands, yoga stuff, uh, camping hammock, fidget spinners, things like that, that have insane amount of sales but are insanely competitive and you thinking your listing is going to be different and you're going to get seen. No one will see if your listing's different. It doesn't matter how good your listing is, how different your product is. When it's that competitive, you will not rank unless you have tens of thousands of dollars to spend on ranking. Now, the Next biggest mistake I see people doing, now this is not as common with beginners, is gonna be accepting a large MOQ. Now an MOQ is a minimum order quantity. So what's the least amount of units you can order? So you find a product, you did product research properly, and you go to talk to suppliers, 
and they say, well, you need to order at least a thousand units in order to order this product or to get your logo on it. And you say, okay, well, with Amazon, not every product is going to be a success. If you do everything right, majority of them will be, but there will be some that are not. So we want to make sure we're winning big and failing small if we do fail. So you ordering a thousand units for your first batch of a product to test it is insane in my opinion. I still never order over 500. The minimum I would say you should order is 200, 250 units because the whole goal with this is to not run out of inventory. But if you're ordering over 500 and you don't have tons of funds and the only time you should really order over 500 units at a time is one, if you have a bunch of different variations of products and that 500 make up 10 different variations so you only have 50 of each. Or, well, even as a first listing, you shouldn't order more than that. You should test a couple first. Or if you're making a second order, example, I was selling about 1,000 units of one product a month, so I wanted to have two months of inventory, so I got up to ordering 2,500 to 5,000 units at a time. And the last way you would really have a high MOQ like that would be if you're an advanced seller, you have a lot of funds, and you're planning on doing a very aggressive launch on a very competitive product, funneling tons of money on ads, giveaways, reviews, etc. Now, the very last thing that you need to avoid is doing an improper launch. Now, you're thinking, well, no shit, I'm going to obviously do what I think is right. Well, when I'm talking about improper launch, Amazon recently changed the ways reviews work and how you get them. So there's a couple things you have to watch with on there. Um, we talk about that on the webinar though, but you just need to make sure you are launching correctly. I see so many people get their listing, they create it, their product gets to Amazon, they have zero reviews and they're just sitting there waiting for sales. Like, okay, I'm waiting for my sales. Where are they? Come on, Amazon work. That's not how Amazon works. You need to get a couple reviews. You need to run pay-per-click advertising. Now, sometimes does that happen? Yes, it can, but that's only if you found a insanely good product in a niche that is just starting to grow and you got in early. A lot of times you need to be able to start getting some sales and driving your sales rank up. And when you do that, more organic sales start to come in. And when you get more organic sales, your rank goes up and it's a snowball effect. So knowing how to launch is by far one of the most important things after product research. So and listing creation, of course, that's very important as well. So those are the main three mistakes I'm seeing people make right now, especially, especially beginners. Remember when everyone wanted to see the whiteboard and I didn't let them see the whiteboard because they didn't register for the workshop where they're gonna learn everything on this whiteboard as to how we've made millions of dollars? Do you remember that, Tanner? Do you remember, yes or no? Stop, you're getting too close. I don't remember things that don't happen. What didn't happen? Them not registering for the webinar. That's what I like to hear. Can I show it too long? Now I'll put it right here, and all I'm gonna do is just blur, blur it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm, I'm gonna put like the biggest blur ever. Just put a big middle. You know you know when they'll be able to see this. Take a guess. If they know how to click the link in the description, I think right. Hey, back to blurring because you guys can't see this. If you want to know what's going on over here, if you want to know how this. Whatever. If you want to know about all this, there's a link in the description. You can register for this workshop. Look. Oh no. Amazon stuff. Amazon stuff. That's for that's for the people who actually register and actually are. Blog nice. it.